Okay, women and children in the front, gentlemen behind, please. Don't push. There's plenty of room for everybody, sir. What? Now, don't try this at home. Uh, part of the show, totally planned. <coughs> Stay with me now, folks, because here comes the good stuff. Once in Mongolia, I noticed a fire. Whole city burning and the flames getting higher. They're yelling, save us, or we're all gonna bake. I ate the flames and then I drank the whole lake. They called me Bar Puck, the magnificent, the specifically, terrifically magnificent. A mammal so inflammable, he saved the day. I tell you, B-A-R-T, okay. Folks, that's 10,000 pounds of pressure. I go over there at once and put a stop to that inane little bat. No, Ludmilla, leave him alone. <laughs> I like him, he's funny. Your highness, can you? Yes. Uh, as you wish. <laughs> leave him be. Folks, this here's a dragon. An exact replica. 150, 200 tons easy. A fire spitter. Kill you with a flick of the tail. That oh, oh, there, oh, sir, oh, better safe than sorry. Oh, oh, oh. One time in Hungary, this dragon appears. He's very hungry, no dinner in years. And then he grabs me and I'm practically through. But I summon all my strength and using the dragon's body weight against him, I throw him off me. I give him a one to the solar plexus and then two to the kidneys. He was deflated because I knew my kung fu. That's why I walk up the magnificent with a ha and a ha ya that are significant. That dragon hasn't eaten since that fateful day. Thanks to B A R T. Okay. Heaven help a harpy who gets in my way. I guess I'm just a natural, or so they say. I tell you, 